Happy birthday! Here's here's your present. It's a pinata. <laughs> Ugh, these are real. These aren't sound effects that I added. These are real. Yes, that's right, Blue Crew. Today we're in a game called Pinata Simulator. And if you don't remember, if you're not an OG with the channel, guys, we played this game forever ago, okay? I already made a video on this game. Oh, check this guy out with the blue merch, by the way. New merch coming soon, hint, hint. Check out my banner and it might give you a hint. Uh, just saying. Anyways, we played Pinata Simulator a long time ago. And I think we like dominated. Like I think we became super OP in Pinata Simulator, but this game has changed dramatically. Okay, wait, that, that doesn't do it justice. Wait, I need a voice effect. It has changed dramatically. Like seriously, it's changed a lot. I'm in a cave, subscribe. Game has been updated so much, they even have merch, like IRL merch, it just says PS. Kind of weird, but anyways, we're in Pinata Simulator checking out the new update. I'm very behind, so I'm just warning you guys now, I'm gonna be super behind in this. I'm probably gonna think a lot of things are new that aren't actually new, but by the end of this, no matter what it takes, I will become the Pinata Master, okay? And I'm gonna get all the prizes, and me and Henry, this is my boy Henry right here. Actually, that's not my pet right here. These are my pets. We got Dozer, Princess, and Winston. Anyways, if you guys are excited for some pinata slaying, then smash that like button down below, just like you smash pinatas on birthdays and you grab all the candy and the and the money. I'd be sick if money just fell from the sky. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, like the video. Can we get to 10,000 likes? I know we can, cause you know, you guys just like liking things. Also subscribe if you guys are new, hit the notification bell to never miss a video I upload two a day. And I know I've been failing lately, but not anymore, okay? I uploaded two yesterday, got two today, I'm on a streak. And let's get into Pinata Simulator. So they added, they didn't have these. They didn't have all time, weekly, and daily Pinatas destroyed. That's a lot per day, bro. These guys, the, the lowest one has 700 destroyed. Actually, that's not even the lowest one. There's a lot of people destroying right there. So getting tons of trade requests, and there's also a lot of game passes I'm pretty sure that I don't have, so let's go to this. Is there a way to turn trading off? There we go, now that won't appear, but there's something in the shop. I don't know what that, that means, that one. Maybe it just means that there's new items here, but we got a lot of stuff that we haven't explored, including some exclusive items, apparently, featured items. We got our, oh my gosh, what is that pet? It's a 681 that's really powerful, apparently. I don't know, I don't really remember the stats in this game. But apparently this pet is insanely good, but it's 61.8 million candy. I like how it's very specific. You could also buy these featured items. These are like really good weapons and stuff. And I think at the time when I played this game, I had the best weapon, but now I don't. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what's in the shop. They get a lot of weapon storage, pet storage. Oh, you can equip eight pets? I'm getting it. I have to. I want eight pets, okay? It's happening. I might have to rejoin for that to work, but I got eight pets. What else do we got here? Dual wield? Okay, we might have to get that too. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna get some game passes and I'm gonna rejoin. <laughs> Guys, I may have went a little overboard with the items and the game passes that I just bought, but yo, look at me, I'm fast now. I think this is part of the VIP perk. And I also got dual wield. Oh, check it out, that's the animation. I remember when I first played this, I had a lot of fun smashing pinatas. I'm destroying these pinatas though. These are just basic, cause these are like in the lobby. They're all probably just basic, cause this is like the lobby area, but oh, we also got Santa's workshop. A boss has spawned in Ice Kingdom? I don't think I can even go there yet. Oh my gosh, there's a giant pinata. There's a giant pinata. Spawn three bosses in every zone? Oh, we have to do that. <laughs> That's a really cool thing. What's this, by the way? This is a free sword if you join the group. Not bad, okay. So let's go ahead and check out the weapon shop and the pet shop just to see how behind we are on getting these new items because I'm pretty sure, oh, this is like exclusive. This is exclusive items. I don't want to fight the boss yet. Oh, is that a boss? Are they like pinata bosses? This might be the boss, I'm assuming. Is that what this is? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is, I think. So that's a boss right there. So you can basically, I, I don't want to, oh, we destroyed it, nice. Should I get my prize? I gotta grab this. Not too bad. Oh, there's also missions. That's actually kind of cool. So you can collect things and prizes for missions. You can buy featured pets. We also got an inventory full of swords and whatnot. And this is this is the sword I have, by the way. It's a thousand. So I think this still might be the best sword in the game. Is this equipped right now? I think it is. I believe so. Was it wasn't even equipped? I had the ice sword equipped, guys. I didn't even have my golden slasher, which by the way, how do I have the golden slasher? I don't remember buying this. I don't remember buying the golden slasher, but okay. I have it apparently. Do you get that from VIP or something? How do you get the golden slasher? 
VIP gives you the golden sword. Weapon level 1000. Oh my gosh, VIP? More like OP. Seriously, like I literally am so OP now. <laughs> all right, so these are weapon uh, chests for candy. I don't have much candy and then this, oh, they all cost candy. That's just the currency. This is the most expensive one though. Exotic case, 199 Robux. Oh my gosh, you can get an insane exotic. What? So these are pretty powerful. These are in the thousands. This, the sword I have right now is actually not the best sword. This is the best sword in the entire game. It's like a rainbow sword and you can get it up to 100,000. So now that we have the luck game pass and everything, I'm gonna open some of these. I haven't even started playing the game and I'm already opening some of these cases. <laughs> but I wanna get the best sword possible and show you guys the capabilities of this game. Oh my gosh, I only got an 84. That is like the least rare I could have gotten. That's literally the, the, the lowest I could have gotten out of this entire thing. Let's open like two more for now and then we're actually gonna go play the game for a bit. Try and advance in some areas if there are new areas since I last played and then we'll come back and try and get some exotics. But, oh, 5,860. I'll take it. There's much better swords in this, but this is the one I got. So it's actually fourth from the highest or fifth from the highest. That's not too bad. I'll take it. I mean, it's, it's, it's higher than lower. Let's actually unequip this though. You can have two dual wields because I, uh, got myself that game pass and I can also upgrade. Chant and upgrade things, but I don't actually know how to do that yet. So we'll figure it out in a second, but check me out with the dual wield, bro. That looks crazy. And then we got ourselves some Christmas pets, which are much better than my current pets. These are my current pets. <laughs> oh my gosh, this they give you such rare stuff for getting VIP. Let's actually equip that. The golden angel. This pet is insane, a thousand power. It's an elite tier. All right, enough with purchasing and game passes. Let's actually move on with the game. So I'm pretty sure there's some areas we don't have unlocked. By the way, we definitely need to spawn three bosses in every zone. That is gonna happen at some point. Once we get a little bit more OP, we're not we're not quite ready for it. But check this out, 70,000 candy to get to the mushroom forest. We're actually almost there. So let's destroy this. Oh my God. Dude, the dual wield animation is sick. And then I think I auto collect the candy, which is amazing. But yo, it's so cool. Look at this animation. Whoa, I love that, dude. That's actually insane. And I'm pretty sure there's like a, a magnet. Oh, yeah, I have a game pass called like the magnet or something. And it, it picks up things that I'm kind of kind of close to. But here's the mushroom forest. I thought, I think I remember unlocking the mushroom forest last time I played this, but I guess I didn't. But anyways, this is the last place we have unlocked. And then what's after the space center? Okay, so we need to unlock some more. We need to get some more candy, basically. We need to do some pinata slashing. So basically, that's the point of the game. You basically just slash pinatas, collect candy, and you get yourself some new weapons and pets with the candy currency. I, you know, use some Robux to get a little bit ahead. I'm not gonna lie, but hey, I, I haven't played this game in forever. I'm a little bit behind. The creators, I'm pretty sure, asked me to play it a while ago, and I feel bad for not playing it, so we're just giving them some Robux, okay? We're helping them out. Oh, a boss is spawned in Mushroom Forest. Oh, that's here! So that's that's the boss. When the boss spawns, it's just a random giant pinata. And I'm doing a ton of damage. I love that they added boss fights, dude. Let's go. We're destroying this Santa elf thing. Another boss spawned. That's not good. Okay, where's the park? Is that the lobby? I don't know where that is, but there's another boss that spawned, but let's go ahead and kill this thing and see what we get. Cause you get like a prize every time. We did it. Oh, we got a lot of candy canes. That's actually a different currency and you use it for like specific Christmas edition, like pets and, and weapons and stuff. So we need 275,000 candy to get to the end, but they have purchases on the wall. Kind of interesting. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to sit here and slash pinatas for like 10 years. Okay, we're trying to make a video and I'm trying to show you guys everything in this game. So I might as well, you know, pay my way to victory. <laughs> I'm actually getting an insane amount at this point, but I still am not satisfied. I wanna make it through the pastel planes. So we're getting this. We're getting the 550,000. And I think we're, oh, we almost have enough. Okay, I'll grind for the rest. But there's, there's still more areas though. After we get to this area, the pastel planes, there's more that we have to go through. Okay, there we go. We actually made it. We actually got enough purchase. Now we have like no money. So we made it to the pastel planes. I like these areas, by the way. A boss has spawned in Space Center. Oh, there it is. Yo, take on the boss without me, guys. At the end of this, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the three bosses and every Wait a second, I think they did it. I think that person did it. 
Look at how many bosses there are. There's a giant boss. Oh my gosh, this boss is insanely big. I can't even see its health. Okay, there it is. I can destroy this thing myself though. Look how much damage I'm doing. Nobody's even helping. Nobody's even on this boss. Okay, now somebody is. I did half the damage myself in like five seconds. So we can take out these bosses pretty easily. This will give me a lot of candy canes, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it gave me a lot of candy, okay. Huge amount of candy, bro. 873,000? That's a lot of candy. Like from one pinata, I get myself like 10,000 and that actually gave me about 800,000 amount for just one boss. Yo, let me know what kind of weapons and pets and stuff you guys got in this game, all right? Cause uh, I'm trying to be like the most OP ever and I think I kinda am. So it looks like that, oh my gosh, there's still more areas. There's still many more areas. Mechanical Metropolis. I'm gonna check out the About Me page, the, the description and see if there's any. It says new candy land area, 250 million candy. So I'm not even close guys. There's like many different areas to explore after this. I'm literally not even close. Okay, that's great. Okay, well, let's collect our daily missions real quick. And I actually wanna go back to the main area. I'm gonna spawn those bosses in a bit, but I actually wanna see if I can get myself, do I have a teleport? I think I do. Oh, so check this out, look. Game pass, wait, game pass required. Game pass required? So these are all the areas I don't have unlocked. So one, two, three, four, five, six more areas to unlock and I currently have like seven. Let's teleport to the hub though real quick because I want to go back to that sword and we're going to spend a little bit of Robux on this thing, okay? This is the rarest sword you can get, the exotic case. And then is there like a pet that's kind of like that? Yup, there is. There's an exotic egg where you can get the 100,000 pet, bro. I just, my goal is just to keep, I just like getting rare stuff, guys. I don't care if I have to spend bucks. So I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to buy a bunch of these exotic eggs and exotic cases trying to get insane pets and insane stuff. Okay, that was not very good. Do I have the luck? Yeah, I do have the luck game pass and I have pretty much everything that I could get to help me. So there's nothing else I could really do other than just wait to hatch this thing. So I guess we'll just keep on opening. In the meantime, why don't you go over to the like button, smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new and hit the notification bell. I upload two videos a day. Oh, that one's good. Does it say in the chat when I get, yeah, it does say in the chat when I, <laughs> people are like, you're spending a lot of Robux. I am, but I got this one, the fourth best. That's not too bad. What's crazy is the range of power. Like if I got this exotic and it was only a 10,000, that would be very bad because it can go up to 100,000. So that's like, I really want to get 100,000. I really don't want to get myself a 20,000 or a 10,000. And we're getting 70s. All right, so I'm gonna have to open a lot of these exotics. I'll come back when I get something like insanely rare, but for now, I'm just gonna open a ton and I'll cut back and keep showing you guys. Please move, I'm trying to get a screen. Oh, sorry, I'll move out of the way so you can get a screen with the egg. <laughs> He's trying to get a screen with the egg, just kidding. He's trying to get a screeny with me. Also, by the way, join the Discord server if you guys haven't already. Link's in the description. I restarted my Discord server. It's popping. We already got 3,000 members in there. So if you guys wanna join the Blue Crew and speak with the community and me pretty often, Definitely go to that Discord. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitter and Instagram at Russo Talks. Okay, no more promo. I'm gonna keep opening eggs. I have to immediately cut back. It's literally only been like 30 seconds, but I just got myself the second rarest exotic, the blue three-headed monster exotic. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not, I don't think it's like the highest power it can be, but I. it's definitely one of the best pets. Look, 28,000, what's the highest it could have been? It could have been 29,000. So I, it's actually on the upper part of that. So that's really good. I got myself a 28,000 exotic. That thing's gonna look crazy. It's got three heads, bro. And I can equip eight pets now. I only have four equipped. All right, I think I have like five. Yeah, I have four. So I got myself multiple three-headed pets. That, that one actually could be a lot better. Actually, no, that's actually close to the top. All right, so let's put this exotic on and see how good this thing is. 28,000 and then this exotic is amazing. All these exotics compared to my other pets are way better. We got eight equipped now. We don't even, we should probably remove this mushroom guy. He's he's really not cutting it. And then we got this exotic, which isn't really that good, but I'll take it. Actually, this one's better. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, now we have eight pets equipped and some of them look crazy. They're all just like blended and meshed in together. All right, so let Roscoe. Roscoe, Samson, Mia, Rocco, and Odin. Bro, I love these names. I definitely would have named them that. Those are some good names. So I'm gonna open like five more of these pet eggs because this is Robux, by the way. I'm spending a lot of Robux on this. I'm not trying to spend too much Robux, even though I already have. But um, that's that's not bad. 
I'm gonna spend a little bit more on this egg and then I'm gonna go over to the weapon because I want to try and get an insanely rare from each egg. So I don't want to spend too much on one because then I'll have no bucks left because I'm spending a lot. It's 200 Robux every time I buy this. Come on, where's my luck? I have the luck game pass. I've yet to get the rarest exotic, bro. Can you just give it to me, please, game? Right here. This is it. The rarest exotic right now, right here. Okay, well, I'm having no luck with this pet egg. So let's go over to the weapon and open this exotic case a few more times. I can't believe how much Robux I'm spending on this video. I did not expect this when we're playing Pinata Simulator, but you know, it is what it is. And I still want to do the three bosses in every area thing. Oh, 8,000. That's pretty good. 8,200, I'll take it. That's actually, that might be my best sword. Yeah, that's my best sword so far. So we could actually take off the golden slasher and put this thing on. Those are two solid swords right there. Those are my best ones so far. That's the, f the fourth best and the fifth best. I'll take it. I mean, it's not the it's not the best best, but I'll take it. I'm gonna open like five more of these weapons and then we, we gotta call it a day and we gotta just spawn the bosses because this is too much money spent. 262, I'm spending all this money on it. They, they, they shouldn't have had so many different weapon choices in this exotic. I think that was a mistake because it's like, you're spending Robux to get this and I'm still not even getting close to the best sword. Like, what is this? What is this? Is this gonna cost me 10 billion Robux? Is this the 10 million Robux challenge? I really don't wanna do that. Please don't suggest it. It's down to the final three. I'm opening three more, and if I don't get the rarest thing, then whatever. We got the second rarest pet and the fourth rarest sword. I will take it. That's, that's good enough for now. My luck is insanely bad. I'm getting every single weapon besides these three, and I just want those three. So literally one more after this egg opens, one after this chest opens, case, whatever it's called, and then we're gonna fight the three bosses in each area. Literally, I had such bad luck in this, wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I spent all my Robux for this, so you better smash the like button, okay? Also, we're gonna destroy freaking bosses. <gasps> 25,000, oh snap, that's a good one. 25,000, the second rarest exotic. Okay, I'm glad that I set a limit of three more and that's what I ended up getting. I am hyped about that. Okay, let's put that guy on. Two insane swords, one of them is a freaking scythe, bro. I got a scythe. I got a void scythe. The whole chat is just filled with me opening exotics. <laughs> so here's what it looks like when I destroy a regular pinata now, just instant death instant destruction to these pinatas. But what happens when I spawn three bosses in every single zone? That's what we're doing. Look at this. This is just a mess, bro. This is a mess. All right, I'm gonna teleport to the best area that I have unlocked so I can get the most candy possible. Let's teleport to pastel planes. Wait, what? I thought I already purchased. I thought I had the game pass. I literally teleported before. You guys saw it. Anyway, whatever. Three bosses in every single area. So now with this scythe, this is like the hardest boss that I faced so far and it only took me like six hits. I already destroyed it. That's all, that's all it took. I have 34 million now. Now I can make it to these next areas. All right, let's take on the next boss. Dude, this is just the easiest way to get candy. Making a boss storm is the best way to get candy easily, except it costs Robux, so I don't really recommend. Guys, don't spend the Robux like I do, okay? Just watch me do it, cause I'm stupid and dumb, but you guys don't have to be stupid. Just watch your fan or so be stupid. <laughs> okay, anyways, we're almost at 100 million candy. Yo, I need to take out all these bosses. These guys need my help. These guys need my help. This guy right here needs the help of the Russo plays. There you go. There's so many more bosses, but I can't even take them out right now. Oh, it actually spawned bosses in the areas that I can't get to. That's crazy. All right, let's grab this candy. And, oh, just a little 10 million, casual. Now let's open some new areas because we can actually afford some new areas now. This actually adjusted, by the way. This was supposed to adjust according to the inflation of the area that I'm at. And it's, look, it's not adjusting. It's like you need to reload the area to make it work. But here we go. We got three bosses here. There's actually like different tier bosses. Like this is a giant boss and that's like a mini boss. So, oh, those probably give you uh, candy canes every time. And this probably gives you candy every time. So we're just gonna kill the ones that give me candy because I don't even need to do the candy game ones. These swords are insane though. This scythe and this sword, I'm destroying pinatas like I've never destroyed them before. Literally, I don't think I've ever destroyed a pinata in real life. Comment down below if you have. All right, we're making it to Metropolis. We could actually make it to Pirate Place as well. There's so many bosses. There's just bosses everywhere. This guy's fighting a boss. Yo, you need help, bro? 
I'll help you out. I'll help you out. He's probably like, no, don't steal my candy. But I, I just gotta help this guy. All right, we took out this boss and it gave us uh, a lot of candy, like 30, 60 million. Uh, let's go to this area, Radioactive River. There's only a few more areas. Radioactive River. Wh wh what's after that? Radioactive River, Jarring Jungle, and Candy Land. So we're almost to the final area. We can actually afford them all. Here it is. Jarring Jungle's the next one, and then Candy Land. And these bosses are probably like insanely OP. Jarring Jungle, we made it through. And then Candyland is the final area. It costs so much. Look at these pinatas. They're like camo pinatas. These are probably like too powerful for me. I don't, yeah, that looks like it's gonna take a really long time. So we're probably gonna wrap up the video there because we did become super OP like I thought we would in Pinata Simulator. And we got ourselves an insanely rare exotic sword and pet. And uh, I had some fun, even though I pretty much just spent a lot of my money, which I don't recommend. I have a huge multiplier, by the way, 139. Anyways, like the video if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and thank you so much for hanging with me today. Hopefully you enjoyed two videos a day, every single day. Have a great day. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Talks, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.